All right, guys, we have a CGC unboxing video here, and these ones are all signed. All right, guys, we're gonna get into this video. Yes, this is a CGC unboxing, but it's a little bit different because all these books are signed. They were all signed by these artists and writers. Uh, I have two boxes like this, so I'm not sure exactly what's in this one, but uh, they were all done at Terrificon. So I'm really excited, something a little bit different. So before we get into it, you know what to do. Give me a follow on all the social media. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Leave a comment down below, the thumbs up, all that. So what's cool about this is... I will have this same opportunity to get yellow labels at New York Comic Con. Why is that important? Well, I'm going to be having whatnot auctions with different artists each night. As of right now, I have Ryan Brown and Mark Morales lined up. I'm doing my best to get two more. The most important thing, though, is to know that during the auction, I will be able to offer yellow labels for any remarks, signatures, sketches on any books during those auctions with Ryan, a lot of you guys have asked me, hey, can we get a gold label? Can we get that CGC gold yellow label? Um, and I haven't been able to until now. It's my cat. I don't know if he's on camera. Uh, until now, because I will be at the show. So uh, bookmark those. If you're not on Whatnot, download the app. Use it in the description down below. You get a $10 off uh, discount code for your first purchase. Book. There he goes bookmark the auction so you don't forget it's thursday uh wednesday night thursday night friday night and saturday night of new york comic con so with that let's get into this now we're not going to do any cover price sales data because it's going to be a little bit tricky and i'll show you why there again these are signed books but if, if this is the right box i'm not sure again i had two boxes coming i'm not sure which one is which uh there are some remarks so i don't know grades I don't know which one is which, but I am definitely keeping one of these for the PC if this is the right box. Let's see. Uh, okay, I don't know which which one this is. Okay, this is amazing. I do know the book. It's Amazing Spider-Man 375, first Anne Wang. Uh, this is signed by Mark Bagley and Randy Emberlin, both si nice signatures. Here's Bagley, Emberlin. Uh, I like the blue on the gold. I think it pops. Hopefully it looks as good on camera as it does in person. Looks great. How about a grade? I tried to pick out nine eights out of stuff that I had for sale um, just to get these things signed. Nice, nine eight dual sig here. Great, great book. Again, tough to find sales data on this kind of stuff. So we're just gonna skip that part of the video today. All right, that's one. I don't remember which books went in which invoice. I feel like I have cat hair all over me. Oh, look at this. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight signatures, all blue. I did that on purpose on the Venom Skyline variant from Scorpion Comics. Here are the signatures. We've got Mark Bagley, Bob McLeod, John Romita Jr., Larry Hama, Howard Mackey, Carl Potts, Jim Shooter, and Joe St. Pierre, all on the cover, all working on Venom, or was the publisher, right? Or editor-in-chief at the time, which was, I believe, Jim Shooter. Uh, I love how everybody signed kind of small to make room for the next guy. Just great, awesome. We got to get this signed by McFarlane. Once we get McFarlane, it, we're home free. Um, Michelini would be nice too. We got Zek on here. I don't know if we'll be able to get Zek. But anyway... A lot of signatures. I'm hoping for a 9-8, but this is going to uh, be a book that's going to be cracked at future signings, future shows. For instance, New York Comic Con. I'm going to look down the list, what artists are there, if there's any, or, or writers, any artists or writers that are on this list, all these names. I'm going to get this cracked open, keep the yellow label, keep everything certified, keep it all safe, safe, and get some more signatures added to this book. I haven't decided if this is something I'm going to keep or not. We'll see. Uh, the grade, hopefully it's a 9.8, but I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't be surprised if it's a 9.6, a 9.4, and if it's not yet, this book is going to be handled a lot, which means it has the potential to downgrade. This isn't the book, this isn't the kind of book with all these signatures and future signatures that I care a whole, whole lot about that ultra, ultra high grade. It's more or less, the, the most important thing about this book is the signatures. And it is a 9.8, it's great. I should celebrate, but I've seen, uh, I've seen this, 
you know, things like this go downhill quickly when the book starts getting to get cracked open and whatnot. So I actually have to stop the video because my cat is scratching at the door and then we'll get into the next ones. All right, sorry about that. Real life stuff. I don't want them scratching up the door, getting the paint. All right, here we go. Four, four left. Okay, another one here. Amazing Spider-Man 363, just signed by em uh, Bagley and Emberlin. Bagley's on Spidey's head. Emberlin's got that big, thick signature. Hoping for a 9-8 here. This is not staying in the PC. And another 9-8. We're three for three. Woo! Gary's got that eye, huh? I love this cover. I like this cover better than 362. Dual signature. Very nice. Very nice. All right. This one is special. This is Incredible Hulk 271. This is the first appearance of Rocket Raccoon in comics. Got this signed by Al Milgram, okay? And a little Rocket sketch. Little Rocket remark right here. Pretty original. Uh, I do hope for a high. Here's the signature down here. Al Milgram. He also did a little AM up here near his sketch. This is a one of a kind. I'm sure he's done this before, and I'm sure there's other people that have this same book done with this little remark, but he did it in a fantastic location on the white. Looks great. Uh, hopefully it looks as good on screen again as it does in person. Uh, let's see. 9-2. I will take it. That is a fantastic grade for this book. This is cool as hell. This is a cool one. Rocket sketch on the first rocket in comics. That's, I don't even know how I could price. I don't know how to price that. I'm not sure. Now there is a book in this batch that I'll be keeping. Okay, this is the one I'm keeping. I'm gonna put it back in. I didn't see the grade. Let's do this one instead. The last one I, I'm very excited about. Oh, I have another one of these. Okay, so Amazing Spider-Man 363. Again, Rubens, uh, Rubenstein, Emberlin and Bagley. Did we go two for two? We did another 9.8. That I got that eye, huh? So we have four nine eights. I knew this wasn't going to be a nine eight. If this was a nine eight with the remark and the signature, I, I couldn't imagine what the price would be. All right, last but not least, this book um, I am keeping. It is a jam piece, which means I got four different artists to sketch on a blank sketch cover. And it came out ridiculous. Ryan Brown did Venom. Mark Morales did Spidey. And again, these two guys are going to be with me on Whatnot Auctions at New York Comic Con uh, during the evening. I'm going to start those at 8.30. So Thursday night at 8.30, Friday night at 8.30, Saturday night. Uh, this, my friends, is Isad Ribic doing Carnage. And then John uh, Josh Kassara did Null. So I did all symbiotes. Uh, this is staying in the PC. This is phenomenal. This is literally a one of one, a one of a kind. It looks great. I mean, if now the grade, yeah, I do want a 9.8. I'm not going to lie to you guys, but it doesn't matter. This is this is just an artwork piece. And I could have gone on the back, but why? I'm going to display it this way. So let's see. 9.8. Guys, this is, this is freaking awesome. This is a great piece, especially if you're a Spider-Man fan. Uh, you guys know Spidey is on my long list. You know, he's not like my number one. My number one is Thor, but Spidey's probably number two on my Marvel side. This is, I could look at this all day. This will be displayed. Big, big thank you to Morales, Ribic, uh, Ryan, and Kas Josh Kassara. So with this video, guys, I can't get you sales data. I could, but it's going to be like really, I got to really dig to find that and this was more or less all about the signatures and to let you guys know that there will be an opportunity for you to get these yellow labels at New York Comic Con through Whatnot during the auctions with Mark Morales and Ryan Brown. Go to Whatnot, bookmark them so you don't forget. And if you're not on Whatnot, download the app, use the link down below in the description, get yourself $10 off your first purchase on the app. Doesn't have to be with me. And what's cool is if you use it, I get 10 bucks too, so we're helping each other out. And you know, even if you don't wanna buy anything, come hang out, come watch Mark Morales, come watch Ryan Brown do sketches and remarks and everything else for about an hour, hour and a half. I'm gonna to try to keep the auctions no more than 90 minutes. So 8.30 to, 9 8 30 to 10 o'clock Eastern is like my max. Um, Here's a little, if, you, if you've if you watched this much of the video, you get, you get a little bonus here because Mark Morales will be bringing five Avengers sketch, Remark books, five Justice League with Remarks, five 
uh, Amazing Spider-Man 900s with remarks on them, five sketch covers, which means that blank sketches like this where he's doing colors uh, of about waist high and up. All right, five of those that we're going to auction off. And I believe we may be doing five pages. Okay, very original stuff here. And you will have an opportunity to get these yellow labeled. And I'll explain all that during the whatnot auction. Um, that's it. That's it for this video. I hope you guys like this one. This is cool. Just totally original stuff. Great signatures. It's awesome meeting these artists and writers as well and chatting with them. And and uh, what was cool about the jam piece is as I, Ryan was the first one to do it. And then I believe Mark was the next. And I think Null, which was Kasara. And, you know, each artist, you know, Kasara was just in awe of the other pieces and it was just, it was just fantastic. And then Josh wanted me to bring it back after Ribic finished Carnage. So it was just really cool. They all kind of tried to outdo each other a little bit and it, they're fun. So that's it. All right, enough chit chat. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up on the way out. Leave a comment down below and as always, keep it comics.